Welcome, this is Melinda Barlow, CZT, Certified Centangle Teacher, and today's lesson is glass, and you see it spelled, it is a Canadian word, mainly used in Montreal, and it's like a, like we would use glass, it's smooth, it's a clear finish, it, and I did read somewhere where it, it had wavy lines, but I'm not sure about that when I was looking up the definition. So you see the step outs here. There are no step outs published. This tangle comes to us from Zentangle uh, headquarters. And um, I had someone ask me about a particular little tile she saw and wanted to know how to draw it. And I have said many times, if you have a, t a pattern that you'd like me to do, just ask and I'll do my best to do it. So this is glass and um, you'll see I've done it here. I've also done it here with different effects. So we're going to move these out of the way and then we'll get started on glass. And I'm going to use just a um, small got a glare on here I didn't realize there we go um, a, a, a tile and I'm going to put my dots in the corner and my border part of the eight steps of Zentangle and I'm grateful that I am able to do these um, lessons online and that's one of the steps is to be grateful and then we'll do our dots borders and then we could do a a string in the center but instead I'm just going to fill this with glass the reason is I'm really teaching you the pattern and how how it's done so I'm not going to put a a string in there oh, you know what I think I will I'll just do a little half string in there that's one of my favorites so now we're going to do the step outs in glass and there are a couple ways that's why I kind of decided I would do it in half there's two ways you can do it so I'll do one here and then the, repeat that one down there we're just going to start with a wavy line kind of a snake line going down my tile and then this one's going to go a mirror image it and you don't want to go all the way in, you want to leave a little space. I'm going to do another one. And you see I'm just mere imaging my, what I've got done. And if you make a what you might call mistake Remember, there's no mistake in Zentangle, so we just move on. And now we've got all our little wavy lines. We're going to put, we're going to connect a line right here. Just, and I'm just going to use a little round one this time. Just a little smiley face. And then I'm going to do the same here. because that would be uh, above there and another one here well I because this is the most obvious spot for it and one here and there we have the first glass and I'm just going to use a a blue prisma a colored pencil and I've had a few people ask about how um, I blend my um, colored pencils and what pencil I have there's a tutorial on my site that you can look at all the different pencils that I use to to shade with and or you can use and they all will blend with odorless paint thinner so I'm just gonna come and I'm gonna put a little color actually I'm really putting a lot of color 
For me, that's a lot, not a little. Now we're going to take a shading stamp and I have a little, excuse me, I have a little pot here that has a sponge and odorless paint thinner in it and you can get these on my website or you can make your own. Um, and I just am dampening, you can see how it's dampening the end of that um, paper stump and then I'm just going to blend out that color. And I use this odorless paint thinner on all pencils, even watercolor pencils because I can have more control on how the color blends. And you can <clears throat> see I really need to add a little right up in here so that I have... I'm just going to dip that in a little bit. Just makes it a little bit easier. Doesn't matter what kind of paper you're using. I like tiles because it um, I can get this little project done in a short time and m I mainly use it uh, when I draw. I do some Zentangle inspired art but mainly I do it for therapy. I There's so many benefits to Zentangle and it's such a pleasure to teach and do so I'm just going to give these a little bit of blue up in there and there you have glass now I promise you we do something at the bottom you can also and I'm going to rotate my tile you can also do glass that is zigzag and again we're going to mirror what we did, but we don't want them to touch. We want those points, though, to come so they're kind of um, over each other. These two are closer. Then we're going to extend here with a little point. So it's like they're, they're stacking papers or little squares that are stacked. Can you see how it has transformed that into a, a, a little stack? And you can come here and I this is one of my favorite things to do is to echo or aura. And again, I want to remind you that if they're not perfect, it really doesn't matter. If your lines are shaky, don't worry about it. It's going, you know, the whole purpose of Zentangle art, the Zentangle method of, of drawing here is that there are no mistakes, only opportunities, and we can't control a lot of things in our life. So now we have this, and we can come in, and I'm going to use a different color of I, I think I'm going to use the the um, pencil and I'm just going to put a tiny bit of graphite just at this point. You could go in and fill in um, your background with with different tangles and I'll bring that one I did like that back in in just a minute but see how you can just blend that and that really gives it some shape now you can come in and you can add something to each one of these the inside I just added a different tangle on the each one of these and the same with this one I just added different tangles one of the things that I did that's a little bit different here is, and I'll do it on one of my little tiny round tiles so that you can 
See, actually, actually, I think I'm going to use this little round one. So you can see, I just have another step I did. So I'm just going to do a snake. And I'm not real particular. Put my little round ones on both sides. And then I can take this and fill this in. Excuse me. I'm going to change over to uh, the apprentice pen. I have been volunteering today. I do, I'm called on a mission for my church, which a lot of senior couples can serve, choose to serve different kinds of missions. And we're doing a service mission. It is at a girls' camp. And we are preparing the camp for our girls to come um, as soon as school's out. But we have a youth group coming um, Saturday. And so we're preparing the camp for them. It'll be both boys and girls. And I'm tired. I've worked really hard today. So you can see here with this how it's even different and you can go in and, and I like to just echo. I'm just gonna echo the inside of here. Something inside of each one of these little areas. And I kind of did this this one fast I would have probably made those that echo a little bit smaller and that's how I got the area to do the bookmark and and I was going to teach this tangle um, but it's so much like glass that I opted to do you can see if you look at this this is achieved the same way as glasses I cannot remember the person who did this but she calls it basket weave and you're going to find that you have lots of different tangles that can come out of one tangle. I really enjoy doing glass. Um, it's got lots of possibilities. It's simple, easy one to remember. I could make lots of fun bookmarks. Just a reminder to tangle every day. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You'll find links below for my Patreon channel, also my store where you can shop for supplies, and have fun with glass. It's a great tangle from Zentangle Headquarters. And thanks again, and have a great day.